This is a great location though. For something like that. It's a great view. Must be amazing at day. It's kind of spooky at night. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Calum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Oh. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. And then shit went sideways. Okay. She is really very disturbed and has mental problems all linked to this very place. Hi, it's that guy again. What are you supposed to be? Death? Death rides along in the Ferris wheel. Mommy is coming, Callum! Callie, Callie, Callum! Callum, where did you go? Take roller coaster too. Ay 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 ay. It was close. Thank you for opening the way, though. Calm down. Calm down. See, it's just. Imagining all of this here, I wonder what is real and what not. Where are you? A lot of people Callum. idolize their children. Oh. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. Oh. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. Okay. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's definitely a perspective one could take. But lady, you were a child once too. So don't complain. Uh, the ticket. I got Always the ticket. To ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Never. Okay. <laughs> And that that's a point in this amusement park. It has like five attractions. Well, Where are you? Well, Callum? Well. So fun is Callum? over Tell quite soon. Right, yeah, okay. Just ride the roller. Coaster, 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 coaster. Ride it? Yes, okay. Give it to me. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? Ooh. What have you done to him? I, that's 
That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. Is there someone the sitting behind me? Stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. Oh. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Uh huh. Just, just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Okay. Whee! What? 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 Whoa. The fuck? There has quite some therapy going, oh, ah, gone on. And it didn't really help, didn't it? <sighs> Can't even uh, enjoy the view. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> I think I ran over. A child. Huh. This place. I don't know. Not not the greatest amusement park experience I ever had. Huh. Let's get off of this. Take flashlight. The witch awaits. The witch. Really? Okay. This isn't a game, Callum! Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. There will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. Oh. Okay. So I guess the problem is you, lady. The devil inside yourself. He's trying to keep her son, uh, but at the same time... Yeah, she had a very convincing monologue about how much she hates him. And that is not a good combination. Alright. Read the newspaper. Whole town was shocked by that one. Cotton Never candy corpse leaves dinner. sour taste in part. <laughs> I had a very great time writing this article. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. God! According to the local authorities, the corpse has, has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. Ew. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy we noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Daniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. 
The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates uh, on this story going forward. Fucked up place. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that suck so hard? Imagine being in a place like this at night with these strange noises. Oh yeah, cotton candy. I'm gonna find the corpse now. Hi. Hi, clown. Oh bastard. You did this to him. Mm, I don't know, I don't wanna find out. I knew something like this was up. <sighs> the fucking squirrel man did it to him. There's something now, there's something now. Take pills. The, yes, please. These are mine. Bleh. That's not what I wanted to achieve. Don't believe anything they're telling you. Fear the boogeyman. Ill. Ill. I don't want a boogeyman. This is up but oh my god. Ah, low, low, low. Boink. Okay. I. Actually, man, shalalalala. Didn't see you there for a moment. Okay, thank you. Oh, God. I actually imagined high bears. Boink. That's cool. I actually imagined the pills. The pills helping me or some kind of... But not really. I'm sorry. Whoa. Ow. She tried to take her life. At some point. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna make the call. She. Uh, okay, can I move? Okay. She. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its okay, own. Okay, wait a minute. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned $5. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I've always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me inside. Inside, that is where we go. Yeah, I think she herself is the witch because of her man mental problems. When her husband died. And she was left with the child. Her 
inner demons transformed her into the symbolic witch of this story. Atlantic Island has closed its gates. Mm hmm. Small minded fools. My machines lie silent and dejected by, uh, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. Great place. Really great place. Atlantic Island Park. Hello! What the fuck are you? Some Nazi drill master? Whatever, mate. Hi. Shift and jump! Wow! Oh my god! Oh! Damn! What a jump! Damn! So awesome! <laughs>